My books, The Origin of Names, Words, and Everything in Between, Volumes 1 and 2, are available to purchase from most major booksellers in all major formats. Order your copies today so you can enjoy these books for yourself and help support the channel. The world of video games is full to the brim with various acronyms and initialisms. For the record, an acronym is when the individual letters are said like a word, while initialism is when we say the letters individually. Most of what we are talking about today are actually initialisms, but we will just use the term acronym instead as it's more well known slash better for the YouTube title. Anyway, acronyms are used to refer to the elements of games themselves. Think of examples like HP meaning hit slash health points, FPS meaning first person shooter, or HUD meaning heads up display. Acronyms are also used a lot between players who are communicating with one another, normally hastily between gameplay. Things like AFK meaning away from keyboard and GG meaning good game. Many video game titles unto themselves are presented more often as acronyms as opposed to their actual names being used, like GTA for Grand Theft Auto, LOL for League of Legends and COD for Call of Duty. Acronyms are a staple of video game language. Those of you watching this video who are into video games, I have no doubts knew most of this already. But to people not as versed in gaming, I imagine some of those acronyms can come off as pretty weird to say the least. However, I do think any of these are actually the weirdest acronym in the world of gaming. I would personally say that the weirdest gaming acronym isn't one that relates to an in-game feature, or any kind of communicative shorthand, or even the short form of a popular game's name. I feel the weirdest acronym in gaming is the one that has become commonly heard in more recent generations of gaming. It's used to refer to specific kinds of games as a whole, and has created all kinds of discourse online. I'm of course talking about the acronym of AAA, though it's way more commonly said as AAA. Like AAA H, who funnily enough is known as the game. That's a huge tangent, let's, let's carry on. In a vacuum, this acronym probably doesn't seem too weird. It's just three A's right. It's not like it spells out a funny word, and as far as I'm aware, triple A doesn't have any connotation of anything else which makes it inadvertently funny or inappropriate or anything like that. So what do I find so weird about it? Well, for myself, the thing about the acronym of AAA is how simultaneously ambiguous but understood it is. Like, even if you aren't into video games, you might have an understanding as to what this acronym might mean or relate to. Those who play video games will have something of an understanding as to what AAA means and will most likely be able to give an example of them. But unlike other acronyms we have mentioned already, it doesn't have one definitive meaning. In fact, speaking of meaning, we ought to look into what the three A's of AAA actually stand for. And here's the thing, they don't stand for anything. Yeah, the A's of AAA don't actually stand for three specific words starting with the letter A. So I guess the reason this is gaming's weirdest acronym is because it isn't actually an acronym at all. Maybe we could think of a fun backronym for it. A backronym is when we turn a word into an acronym retroactively. Perhaps we could say AAA stands for Awesome Amazing Adventure or abbreviations are annoying or something like that. Let me know down below your ideas. Anyway, despite lacking a definitive definition and having no literal meaning, AAA has inseminated itself into the world of gaming, and has become one of the most hotly contested terms and concepts in the gaming world. Like seriously, there is so much online discourse around AAA in video games, from people arguing over what it can mean, to the implication of what it is, in tweets, forums, and in YouTube videos too. So what does AAA mean exactly then? Well it's a term that can be used in relation to a video game itself or the developers of video games. One example you could say is that this is a AAA game or they are a AAA developer and so on. While there is no one universal definition of the term, IGN, a popular gaming news site, have a gaming dictionary and they have two definitions of AAA, those being a major video game publisher or video game studio in terms of budget for both development and marketing. And a video game made by a major video game studio in terms of budget and or size. Note, a studio and game may be independent, indie, even when getting published by a large company. This is a case by case basis and oftentimes studios and games in this position are referred to as AA. These two definitions do a pretty good job of encapsulating what makes something AAA and that can be explained with one simple word money. It seems that the defining feature of a AAA game is how much money has been pumped into it, whether that be how much is spent on development or how much is spent on advertising and marketing. 
AAA games are the kind of games created on a huge budget by development teams with deep pockets. The aim of these huge budget games is to create so much of a spectacle around them that they generate their money back and then some. Many modern AAA games cost hundreds of millions to make. Modern examples of AAA games include the likes of Grand Theft Auto V, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, The Witcher 3 and all the Call of Duty games. AAA developers include the likes of EA, Ubisoft, Nintendo and so on. What's interesting is that from this definition of AAA games, it seems that being a AAA game has nothing to do with how enjoyable or fun or good the game actually is, nor does it even relate to how well the game plays or even runs. If a game is made by a big developer for a lot of money, it can call itself a AAA game. You would think however that pumping that much time, energy and money into a game would mean it turns out pretty good though, right? Well. Here's the thing, there have been a ton of quote unquote AAA games that have been seen as being pretty bad despite how much money was spent on them. Games like Anthem and Fallout 76 were games made with a huge budget but just kind of fell flat and got bad reviews, though I'm sure they have their fans who are leaving comments as I speak. And conversely, there have been a lot of big budget AAA games released that are flat out broken, glitchy messes. While many of these can be fixed with updates, some older games remain broken, with examples like the 2006 Sonic the Hedgehog game and the more recently released Cyberpunk 2077. This lack of polish and quality that has plagued some recent AAA AAA games is where a lot of the online discourse around them comes from. People are upset that games with such big budgets are getting this title, which in the eyes of many put them on a higher pedestal than other games, only for them to be released a tad undercooked. This has made many people bitter of the idea of AAA games. Like what does being AAA even mean anymore if the term doesn't even denote that game is going to actually be good or even work? The rise of the AAA term coincided with the rise in popularity of smaller independently made games too, more on that later. But if you have spent any time in gaming circles, I'm sure you have witnessed the discourse around AAA games. So where did this term even come from? Well, A has always been the letter associated with excellence. We see this most noticeably with grading in schools, where A, or A+, I ought to say, is seen as the highest rank in many education systems across the globe. This is even filtered into gaming too, with A ranks often being a thing in games. So three A's in a row gives off the implication that these games must be of the highest quality indeed. It's logical enough, but games are not actually the first thing to be dubbing themselves AAA. According to the Wikipedia page for AAA in the gaming industry, the term was actually borrowed from the credit industry and their bond ratings. A bond which was seen as a fairly safe bet was dubbed AAA, once again relating to the sense of quality the letter A provides, so this term was lifted from bonds onto games. Though games weren't being called AAA from the get go, like Pong, Space Invaders and Pac-Man weren't dubbed AAA in their time, it has to be remembered that at its inception, video gaming was a relatively small niche market only really for enthusiasts. That means not all games had the most money, time or energy put into them. Many were made quickly to make a quick buck in an arcade. It was only in the 80s when gaming started to become more popular across the globe and expanded from there. It would actually be in the 90s when the term AAA would first be used in relation to a video game, with that being the 1997 game Final Fantasy VII, which many sources point to being the first true AAA game. It featured things like big set pieces, cutscenes and a narrative unlike anything seen in games before. It costs around 40 million dollars to produce. Of course as mentioned that budget has gone up more so. From here the industry grew to become more popular, meaning more money could be pumped into games and their marketing. AAA as a concept really cemented itself in the 2000s and 2010s, especially as online discourse around games became more prevalent. And as mentioned, it was around this time that a huge indie gaming scene came into being. This gave us two distinct branches of gaming, those being made by smaller companies on a smaller budget, which were dubbed indie games, and then to help differentiate the indie games from the games being made by huge companies, the title of AAA became way more used to help people understand what was what. But we're at a point now where indie games can also be AAA games, examples like No Man's Sky come to mind. And you have to remember that the juggernaut that is Minecraft started out as an indie game made by one guy. 
But something else weird about the AAA acronym is that it implies that there must be other acronyms like it too. If there are AAA games, does it mean there are also AA games, or B, or even F games? Well, the answer to that is yes and no. The AAA acronym has inspired other terms, but they don't really stand on their own and only exist in relation to the AAA term. AA is a term that exists for games that aren't as big as AAA ones, but aren't entirely indie. There's also I games, which has been used for high budget indie games. B games have also been used in some regards to lower quality games like we use in Cinema 2 for B movies. Shovelware is another term for bad games too. And in more recent years, the industry has had the urge to go beyond AAA, with terms like AAA Plus and, I kid you not, Quadruple A has even started to become a thing whatever the hell that means. So, from the lack of any actual meaning to the huge and sometimes toxic discourse that surrounds the term, I'm sure you understand why I think AAA is the weirdest acronym in gaming, despite not actually being an acronym. This video topic was suggested by Nancy Moon Smith over on my Patreon. Every Wednesday, I put up a video request post over on my Patreon for my awesome patrons to leave video ideas on. I then pick one of those ideas to be turned into a video the following Wednesday. So if you have a great idea for a Name Explain video and wish to enjoy Name Explain videos ad free as well as get exclusive content and your name at the end of these videos, then why not support the channel on Patreon? It takes just $1 a month to help the channel in a huge way and gets you all of these amazing benefits. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below. Name Explain depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon, so a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explain videos, and your name at the end of the video with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All of that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.